Hello everyone and welcome to the first of our weekly intro videos. This one is for week two. Generally you'll find that these videos feature me talking to camera, but today that is not the case. I'm still stuck at home with a broken foot and not particularly mobile, um, so I don't really have a suitable space to film in today. It's not helped by the fact that we're in the middle of renovations, so my house is pretty messy. I definitely don't recommend breaking your foot the day before you move house and start a major renovation. It's really not a good idea. So today I'll be uh, doing a screen capture to point to key information on the unit site um, and from next week hopefully I will be back on your screens talking to camera. So I have a bit of a list of things to get through with you today um, and I'm going to start out with a bit of a step back to last week. First up, I know that some of you still haven't created your account on the unit site. Quite a few of you actually, I think there's about 30 of you missing. It is really important that you do this as soon as possible so that you can begin participating because really our assessment in this unit starts this week. So what I've got on screen at the moment is the week one page which runs you through some instructions for getting set up on the unit site for the semester. If you haven't yet done these things, please make it a priority to do them in the next couple of days. You really need to have your blog set up. You need to have registered for your site on the account. You need to have completed your profile, introduced yourself to your peers, looked for anyone that you already know who's in this unit, subscribed to the teaching team blog, done some setup work on your blog, including modifying the discussion settings, read the information about how the unit works and have either come to class last week or watched the recording. If you didn't make it to class last week, that recording is there now for you to watch. So if you haven't done any of those things, please do those before you move on to the week two material. This week we are covering three of the foundation topics that will provide a bit of a platform for you this semester. We're looking at uh, the topics Channel U, blogging and critical reflection. So to get started with this this week, I've asked you to have a look at some information about the unit if you haven't already read that, and also to read about the approach to assessment in the unit, because this will give you some background that will be important as you go about completing the activities and working through the resources this week. So onto those foundational topics. What I generally do in this unit is create a page on the site for each topic that we're looking at each week. So let's, for example, have a look at critical reflection. So these are the materials on critical reflection for this week. You'll find some introductory material that I've written for you, as well as some tips that I've um, put together for writing reflectively. Um, so make sure you read through that information. You'll find that there are um, embedded hyperlinks and I've done that where I'm either citing information, referring you to a resource or just where there is some useful context available somewhere else that I want to share with you. So this kind of approach to writing content is a bit of a lesson in itself um, because what we want to see when you create your blog posts in this unit is that you have highly structured, effectively organized uh, content that uses things like images and contextual hyperlinks to link to related materials. So you can consider this a little bit of a model for um, what a blog post might look like in this unit. So there is a page like this for each of the three topics this week and you do have a little bit of work to do to get through those topics and for this reason we don't have a class in week two. So don't think that it's a blood tweak because there isn't a class, it simply means that there is more work for you to do online than you would otherwise have. Then at the very bottom of the page you'll find the learning activity for this week. Now I've put up the assignment info for assignment two and the other two assignments as well, but the one that is your blogging assignment is assignment two. Now with your blogging assignment, you need to write a blog post every week from week two to week 13. I'll be giving you prompts for these and you'll be writing your first post this week. These are called reflect tasks, which um, require you to critically reflect on one or more prompts that we give you for the week or something you come up with yourself related to the weekly topic. This week's reflect task 
asks you to think about how you manage your online identity and how you're going to manage it in this unit. Now you've got two weeks to complete each of the reflect tasks. So that means that this week's task is not due up until Sunday week, Sunday the 20th of March. So you've got two weeks to write your post. Having said that, we encourage you to write this first post as early as possible because we use this task as an opportunity to review your work and give you some feedback on how you're going and some tips, uh, like to provide some general feedback and tips for everyone in the unit. So do it as soon as you can. You can always edit it later. So you don't have to have it finalized until we hit our first marking point for this assignment. I've also put a, a reminder at the top of this learning activity that you need to complete the setup work. Um, and also just a note that I've installed a whole bunch of themes for you to choose from um, so you can change the way your blog looks. And if you go there and you can't find a theme that you like or you've used a theme before that you'd like to use again, just shoot me an email with the name of the theme and I can install that for you. So that's this week's um, learning activity. Now I wanted to talk to you um, just a little bit more generally about the topics that we've assigned for this week and why they're important. So the first topic for this week is what I call Channel U. And this is where you get to think about how you present yourself online. This is a really important topic because it's something that we you know we've all thought about how we represent ourselves online in terms of, you know, don't make drunken Facebook posts um, because future employers might see them. Um, and that stuff is fairly obvious. But what mightn't be quite as obvious is that you can really craft a professional identity for yourself online. So it's not just about avoiding doing bad stuff, it's also about taking a proactive approach to establishing an online identity for yourself as a professional. And that's what you'll be looking at in this topic this week. The second topic is blogging. And in the blogging topic, we really want you to think about what makes a good blog post. So one of the things that you need to do in this unit as you write your posts is to concentrate on creating good content for a blog. And the reason that we make you concentrate on that is that as professionals out in the workplace, when you're blogging, you want to be able to create content that is suitable for a blog and that works well in the online environment. So we've given you some links to some tips for blogging and we'll be asking you to share some tips as well across the course of the semester. But the basic introduction here that we've got given you in this little um, package of resources will help you to start thinking about how you can craft blog posts. Finally, we wanted to introduce the idea of critical reflection to you. So in this unit, you will be doing a lot of critical reflection work. Your um, blog post assignment will be a critical reflection task primarily. Also, you will be doing um, some critical analysis on the case study assignment as well. So you really need to come to terms with what it means to be, uh, to think critically and analytically, to use higher order um, thinking skills and to really pull apart issues and topics um, in, some, in some depth. Over the years that I've been teaching using critical reflection as, um, as a tool for getting to understand issues and pulling things apart, I've developed lots of resources to help with the critical reflection process. I don't want to overwhelm you with all of those resources in um, the first couple of weeks of semester, so I will be releasing a few more resources um, you know, over this week and into next week and, and maybe even further along to help you with this critical reflection process. So keep your eye out for some more content about critical reflection coming your way soon. So you do have a bit of reading ahead of you this week um, and you've also got your activity to complete. It's really important that you do do the reading this week. None of it will take you very long. I think I've linked you to one academic journal article, which will be the longest um, piece of work that you need to read. The rest is really easy to digest. Um, there's quite a few things, but none of them are particularly long and none of them are particularly difficult reading either. Okay, so to wrap up, just a couple of quick notes about what's happening this week. There is no class this Friday. 
you do have your first activity to complete which is due in two weeks on Sunday the 20th of March so you can get stuck into that as soon as you can. You also need to finish setting yourself up on the unit site for the semester, you need to finish setting up your blog, customise the look and feel by choosing a theme um, and get started in connecting with each other around the unit site. So you start commenting on each other's posts and um, sharing links and sharing resources and just um, in generally uh, initiating and participating in discussion. So any of the work that you put in around the unit site from now on counts towards your um, contribution to the learning community marks in assignment two. I've made some videos for you this week as well on orientation um, to the site and some of the functionality. Those will be going up in a playlist and will be at the top of the week two page shortly. Um, they are currently uh, uploading. If you have any questions at all about what we're doing this week or you want to um, talk about any of the approaches that we use in this unit, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can either uh, comment on the activity wall or if it's something personal, you're also very welcome to shoot me an email. So have a great week. I hope you enjoy learning about um, online identity management, blogging and critical reflection. Um, and I'm looking forward very much to working with you all across the semester.